gonna ask. Welcome to Justin Justice News. Uh, the news about me. You? What about you? What about me? Well, you know. Um, today we have some headline breaking news. That's right! This great new invention! 3D! 3D's been, ar uh, been around for quite some time now. Yeah, but now it's different. You can smell it! So, what are the glasses for? Oh, we'll see. I have this theory. We don't actually smell through our noses, but through our eyes. Um, can you share this theory? Oh, sure. Here, you put on these 3D glasses, come a little closer, and let me suck you in the face. And then tell me if you can smell that. Uh, no. All right, we'll fine. We'll find a different way. Um, fine, fine. Moving along, we have a statue of... Or a trophy, actually, of Hunter Time winner Pikachu versus Hunter Time loser Kirby. What? Yeah. No! Kirby's not a loser! Obviously, from this trophy, you can see that. No, that's vandalism. Well, would you like to see, see some footage? That's vandalism. Fine. You got footage? Let's see it. Yes. We shall go to the footage now. We'll be back to you. Well, that was entertaining. No, it wasn't. That was sacrilege. Pure sacrilege. Uh, it, was, it was enjoyable. No. I enjoyed it. Sacrilege. No, you, uh, you have a very large uh, vocabulary today. Luminous, Mr. Justin. Okay. Um, um, so, do you have anything along the entertainment anymore? Oh, yeah, let's see. Peter Jackson to direct new Hulk 2 movie. Where'd you get this information? A very reliable source. Inquirer? No, no, no. A secret file. Sure. Only available to those of my superior intellect. So that only includes babies and canines. Hey! <laughs> Speaking of canines, Cassie has a story on dogmatic dogs. Dogs? Which, what dogs? Which we will uh, join her in the field. But so. first, I have one thing to say. Just j this just into the news. Justin's shirt is made out of bits and pieces of recycled newspaper. I thought we agreed to not share this. No, no, you agreed. I didn't actually say anything. <laughs> no one to fire you. Anyway, we will join Cassie in the field um, in a few seconds. Yeah. You can't do the news to save your life. Hello, I'm here on location in a backyard with someone who is not the subject of our film today. What we're going to be doing today is actually going to interview some dogs. That's right. Dogs have been, uh, been on the rise for years now. People are beginning to buy them a lot more because, you know, they just, they're free spirits of the pet world. They're man's best friend. But what we're here to find out today is, is that true? Are they really man's best friend? Noisy things that bark at strangers and never shut up sometimes. You know, that's the thing about dogs is they're so great sometimes, but, you know, there's just a certain time when you got to say, hey, do we need a dog? Or do we really need a dog? So, today we have these two dogs here. Their names are Amber and Maggie. They are both yellow labs, and they come from the forest of Guadalajara in deep New Mexico. <laughs> you can see they're very hyper and love to please. This, uh, one of them recently got uh, a litter of puppies, as you can see, the one on the right. And the one on the left is not as in good shape, but is just as willing to please. So, our conclusion we can draw from these two dogs is, yes, dogs are great. Do they like physical activity? Yes. Are they worth owning? Yes. Do we have a story? No. Back to you, Justin. And now, video footage of Justin in his vacation home in Southern California. You cut off the end of Cassie's story. And where did you get that footage? From my secret source! Ha ha! Well, if you're gonna show uh, footage of me, then I guess we'll show scenes of uh, House of Bachelors. What? Yeah. I think it's fair. No, 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 you, you can't do that. 
Yeah, I can. No, no, no. Y you can't let him know it's actually going. I, I have to go. I have to go. Now, I'm leaving now somewhere where it is not here. I, I, I'm out of here. Now that we don't have any disagreements, since Roland isn't here, um, we, should go, we should go to behind the scenes of House of Bachelors. Roland, you forgot to buy curry when I sent you to the grocery store today. Uh, well, I got everything else. Isn't that good enough? Can you just cook with that? No, Roland, I need curry. I can't finish the recipe without the curry. I need to cook with the curry. Uh, Pongo here, you know what I don't really want to hear right now? It's your guff. You know what this house doesn't need right now? It's your guff. Roland, stop it. You're making Rudy cry. Why do you guys always have to fight? Always yelling. Always screaming. <laughs> No, Rudy, Rudy, wait. Don't oh, now look what you've done. Hey, uh, Bongoir? Aladar, not right now. Can't you see I'm talking to Roland? You're not talking. You guys are just fighting again, aren't you? Now, you see what happens when you raise your voice, Roland? I'm not raising my voice. Roland, I just fight, 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 You know, no, it, you'd think it, it started out a short time ago, but it's, it's been going on like this for, for quite a while. Yeah. You know, you, it it starts with curry, but it, it doesn't end at curry. It goes on. I'm, I'm starting to suspect, suspect other things. It, it's kind of driving Rudy away from us. We think he's got a drinking problem. Do, do I think Rudy has a drinking problem? Yeah. Lots of things have been going on. I, I'd have to say he, he, he'd be driven to drinking by now. Root, root beer cans all over the place. Orange slice. He's even been drinking that, that Hanson's health soda. It's getting bad. He's getting desperate. Trying to get whatever he can for whatever price. Rudy's drinking problems just getting out of control. Uh, I, I just don't think he listens to me. No, not at all. It, it, it's, it's a communications issue. You know, it's, it's communications. It, it's, it's not him. No, it's not him. It's me. Kermit? Kermit? Oh, no! I don't think Kermit and the other guys are freeloaders. No. They pay. They pay. Yeah. They do. Ha have you seen what it's done to Big Bird? Oh, no. You you'll see what he looks like on the show. No, he, he, he doesn't just look like that just because he looks like that. No. That's from stress. Stress. That's why he's always disgruntled. I mean, oh, I, I usually just stay in my room, lock the door. Mm -hmm. That's what I usually do. Big Bird and Kazini usually join me. Just come home from work, go straight to your room, lock your door. No one gets hurt. Uh, I just want to be able to, you know, run my business. I, I just want my own office. Just my own office, you know, to help me further enrich women's lives. Mary Kay, the woman's way. <laughs> We're constantly running out of soda. I I have to pace myself day by day, stash a little bit away so I can at least have one can a day. Yeah, running out. I, I, I think that's where all the problems stem from. Definitely. <sighs> oh, no. Do, do I see an end to this in sight? Sure. There's always hope. Yeah. Well... We all have hope. We live off hope. I just wanted to add in my two cents. I think the story was very touching, and I plan to start a foundation for puppets and troubled homes everywhere. We can give you hope, Bongoir. We can give you hope. Back to you, Justin. <laughs> How can I be upset about that footage when you and me are going to your vacation house in LA? I'm not taking you to, to my house. I mean, that's ridiculous. Well, then it's a good thing I went a few weeks ago by myself. Wait, how did, how did you pay for the plane ticket? Using your credit card. <laughs> how did you get my credit card number? From my secret, reliable source. Ha ha ha. Hey, that's them now. Yeah? How much? Justin? Oh yeah! I'll pay. Sure. Yeah, alright then. Yeah? It's me. <clears throat> I like some good on Roland. 
Yeah? Hey, well, hold on. Yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah, no problem. I, I can pay that much. That's, that's not a problem for me. Please join in next time on the next Justin Justin News. Your number one source for news, Justin.